soon as the official report reaches us that the embargo has been, uh, I mean, that they have been ordered back to work and they are going back to work, then we will lift our, our embargo. This is the first postal strike of this sort in, in history. It's, isn't it against the law for postal it, it, workers? It is unprecedented. We've never had a thing like this. It is against the law. Every employee of the postal system takes a, an oath that he will not strike. And anyone that does these things or does this is liable for uh, as much as a dismissal from the service or certainly some punishment and maybe fine and or imprisonment. What do you think will happen in, in New York? What kind of punishment or what is the next step? Well, this is, is awfully hard to say in view of the large number of people involved. It's a little difficult to say what, the, what punishment would be meted out. But I do uh, uh, sincerely feel that some uh, uh, charges would be filed against each and every one of these employees that participated in this strike. The exact penalty, of course, I would have no way of knowing. Now, in Houston, the president of the carriers down there has called a meeting, and it's expected that the uh, Houston Union might go on a sympathy strike. Is there any uh, possibility that this will happen in Dallas? Oh, I don't think it will. I have, uh, uh, I don't have the, any idea that uh, the any of the organizations in Dallas would respond either as a sympathy strike or a strike itself. I just don't don't believe that in the employees in Dallas. full of sympathy strike. Would this mean that if they did, would you then have to issue an embargo against mail going to, to Houston? I think this would exactly be true. This, this would be, we would have to uh, apply the same uh, embargo to that area as we have applied to that where the strikes exist. Because they just have no way to handle the volume of mail if it come, come, it coming into them. The strikers say they're, they're striking for higher pay. Uh, when they become employees of the Postal Department, don't they sign a statement saying they will not strike? Yes, they certainly do. They sign a, a no-strike pledge that is a part of the permanent record. And to violate this record, according to our postal laws and regulations, could make them liable for certainly their job as well as possibly imprisonment or uh, 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 fine. Is there any talk in Dallas of, of Dallas going on strike? No, I, I have heard no real talk about it. We've given us a lot of thought in coming up with uh, what we think is constructive criticism. Safety is the first thing we're interested in, and so is the airline passenger. So our proposal is that since all traffic starts on a runway, then we, in effect, extend that runway to 10,000 feet at a rapid rate of climb for jet aircraft, more rapid than the small airplanes can climb. In other words, we propose a corridor that has enough width and enough depth so that airplanes can continuously take off from a runway, climb at an agreed speed, let's say 180 knots, at 3,000 feet a minute or better, which means that for each mile out, they'll be 1,000 feet high. We are beginning the procedure to design what we call a terminal control area for the Dallas Love Field Airport. Uh, this terminal control area, regardless of how it is designed, uh, will have to establish some sort of segregation and separation uh, between the high-performance aircraft and the general aviation or lighter aircraft. I think that there is a great tendency on the part of adults in general 
uh, and I think producers and manufacturers in particular, to underestimate the intelligence of youth uh, and to always think uh, that the atypical are typical. Uh, just as some time ago we were being treated to all the Bikini Beach movies, mm -hmm. uh, which were certainly not representative of young people. You know, they weren't all idiots who hung around on beaches and uh, absolutely had no source of money, but the money just seemed to pour in, and they did nothing but uh, dance on the beach and ride around motorcycles and hot rods and so on. Uh, then came, you know, the motorcycle movies. Uh, now we're getting on to the activist movies. Uh, and uh, they don't represent young people at all. Uh, we got this block of youth-oriented movies, and my objection to them is that they're not good movies. Uh, and they don't tell young people things that they want to know particularly. I think we would have to wait until the, uh, uh, see how well they responded to the order. But I think this would come pretty quickly, that we will be uh, uh, pretty well sure of what they're going to do within the next uh, hour or so. What does your embargo consist of? How does it work? Well, actually, the embargo at the present time is restricted on all types of mail going into, say, metropolitan area of New York, in and around the areas where they're actually striking. This embargo, of course, could be and is be, could be changed a little bit depending on whether there were any other sympathy strikes with the carriers in these uh, areas. There might be further, might have been further restrictions. I think the uh, action tonight was in effect suicide for the Community Action Agency. And I will recommend to the council and to the commissioner's court that we proceed as planned name the nine area uh, organizations to represent the overall community sector. And what I, I would ask the people of Dallas to continue sending in the petitions. Some 30,000 have been sent in so far, asking for the dismissal of Ruth Jefferson and Ed Pope.